looking at me on the valve director at Artuin. And today I'm going to speak to you about quality and reliability of the Havner valves. I have one of the valves here. So quality is the key to longevity. So one of the features that make a quality valve, well in this particular case with the Havner valve, we've got a very heavy duty O-ring carrier. We've also got a really good internal guidance system with the valve that will stop vibration. The material section and coating, we've got a spindle that's made from a duplex stainless steel. We've got a body that's a very high quality ductile iron. The spindle and the spindle nut, again, it's a really robust geometry. We've got a roll thread on the spindle. The brass nut itself will stop zincification because of the alloy is so good. And we've also got the wedge design, which is a, a ductile iron body with, with a fully vulcanized coating. Okay. So the cost of quality. And it's no secret at the moment in, 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 well, in the UK and all over the world that the market is saturated with cheap imported valves, particularly from Asia. Okay. We have a saying in the UK, if, if you buy cheap, you buy twice. Okay, so these valves, the cheap valves, they won't last a long time, like any other product you buy. So what I've shown this table is the typical longevity of a valve by region. And as you can see, when you move to European, where you know where the specifications and the manufacturing's a lot better, you're going to get life of 50 to perhaps 60 years out of the valve, probably even more. Apart from the, the cost of valve alone, what, what's overlooked, often overlooked is if a valve fails, what have you got to do to change that valve? Now, it's not always straightforward. These valves can be in confined spaces. They can be in the middle of a road. And you know, to change that valve, you've got to consider road closures. You've got to consider you know, the public that's going by, the safety. If the valve is in a confined space, as we mentioned, you've got to think about rescue teams. How are you going to get to that valve? And then, then you've got to think about the parts as well. There's, there's new gases that can be required. There's going to be new bolts, fasteners to put the valve in. And all these costs are often overlooked, but they should be considered in what they call the Totex price. So if you look at the, the actual cost of an Avenue valve, it might cost twice twice as much as, as, a, as, a, as an imported valve, as an Asian imported valve, but it will last perhaps three times longer. So each of these costs need to be considered. We then look at a critical operation valve. So you, you'd want to put a quality valve in, in, in a... In a in a situation that will provide means of, of, of isolation or control to, to let, let's just say, into an hospital, for instance, where, where there could be, you know, a problem if they've got no water, obviously we can think about what they'll do to an hospital. So that valve, it's a critical operation valve, and it's got to be able to operate every time you come to it. Another good example is a scour valve and a reservoir. Back in August 2019 in the UK, um, a reservoir called Tudbrook made headline news. And the reason being is they couldn't get the water out of the reservoir. So the scour valve is almost like the plug of the reservoir. So you take, you open this valve, it lets all the water out. Now, if you don't get all the water out of the reservoir and it breaches, you, 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 you know, it will have a catastrophic effect. It will actually drown people. <laughs> you, you, you might actually flood a complete village. So it has a catastrophic effect. So these valves must operate every time and be reliable valves. And you should consider only putting a quality valve into that application. The other thing is as well, if you think of a better process, you know, if you've got an industry where they've been a process that's critical, they've got water calling, again, if they can't get the water into, into the factory, then they'll have a big problem. This is a critical operation valve. I say, so let's move on to about the environment now. Okay, so climate change is now one of the biggest threats to the security of modern humans have ever faced. And this was stated by Sir David Attenborough, who's quite famous in the UK for his environmental concerns. Um, and what, yeah, I think what we don't look at really is, we, we, we look at a product, but we don't think where it's manufactured and what techniques are used to manufacture that valve. Now, let's just go to Asia, where They've probably got different legislation when it comes to emissions. You know, their health and safety would be completely different to what we're doing in Europe. You know, we're, we're, we're dealing to, you know, European standards. In Asia, it's completely different. So, for instance, 
let's just look at you know how, how we get the product into the UK. So we've all seen these big. It's just made headline news in the series. You know these big cargo ships that are coming over. Okay, I mean that they throw out each one of these cargo ships puts out the equivalent to 50 million cars in pollution equivalent. And I believe that 15 of these super cargo ships would be equivalent to all the world's cars. So, so 15 ships coming from Asia into the UK would produce that much pollution. We also talk about methods and the foundries and the processes used in Asia. Brown coal is still burnt in some areas. Now, brown coal is particularly nasty because it, because it will put you know, poisonous gases into the air from heavy metals and particles. And, it, and it's, I believe brown coal now is banned all in Europe. But well, obviously in some regions where there's no legislation, it can still be used. It's cheap. But it's, I think what's really important for me and one of my passions is uh, Joy Habla. We're actually doing our bit for the planet. We really are, you know, and I think that, that is really important. You know, environmental, you know, we're very conscious of, you know, where, how our, our products are made, what our missions, you know, we're working to, to European legislation. And I think that's really important for the future of our children. Thank you.